George Harlan. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Listen. All right. Thank you. Thanks very much. Please. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Listen, uh, I would have been out here a little bit sooner, but they gave me uh, the wrong dressing room, and I couldn't find any place to put my stuff. And I don't know how you are, but I need a place to put my stuff. So that's what I've been doing back there, just trying to find a place for my stuff. You know how important that is. That's the whole, that's the whole meaning of life, isn't it? Trying to find a place for your stuff. That's all your house is. Your house is just a place for your stuff. If you didn't have so much goddamn stuff, you wouldn't need a house. You could just walk around all the time. That's all your house is, it's a pile of stuff with a cover on it. You see that when you take off in an airplane and you look down and you see everybody's got a little pile of stuff. Everybody's got their own pile of stuff. And when you leave your stuff, you gotta lock it up. Wouldn't want somebody to come by and take some of your stuff. They always take the good stuff. They don't bother with that crap you're saving. Ain't nobody interested in your fourth grade arithmetic papers. They're looking for the good stuff. That's all your house is. It's a place to keep your stuff while you go out and get more stuff. <laughs> now, sometimes, sometimes you've got to move. You've got to get a bigger house. Why? Too much stuff. <laughs> you've got to move all your stuff. And maybe put some of your stuff in storage. Now imagine that. There's a whole industry based on keeping an eye on your stuff. <laughs> Enough about your stuff. Let's talk about other people's stuff. Did you ever notice when you go to somebody else's house, you never quite feel 100% at home? You know why? No room for your stuff. <laughs> somebody else's stuff is all over the place. And what awful stuff it is. Where did they get this stuff? And if you have to stay overnight at someone's house, you know, unexpectedly, and they give you a little room to sleep in that they don't use that often. Someone died in it 11 years ago. <laughs> and they haven't moved any of his stuff. <laughs> or wherever they give you to sleep, usually right near the bed there's a dresser and there's never any room on the dresser for your stuff. Someone else's shit is on the dresser. <laughs> Have you noticed that their stuff is shit and your shit is stuff? <laughs> Now, sometimes you go on vacation, you gotta bring some of your stuff with you. You can't bring all your stuff. Just the stuff you really like. The stuff that fits you well that month. <laughs> Let's say you're gonna go to Honolulu. You're gonna go all the way to Honolulu, you gotta take two big bags of stuff. Plus your carry-on stuff, plus the stuff in your pockets. You get all the way to Honolulu and you get in your hotel room and you start to put away your stuff. That's the first thing you do in a hotel room is put away your stuff. I'll put some stuff in here, put some stuff down there. Here's another place for some stuff here. I'll put some stuff over there. You put your stuff over there. I'm putting my stuff over here. Here's another place for some stuff. Hey, we got more places than we've got stuff. We're going to have to buy more stuff. Thank you very much. Send some of your stuff. These people, they got no stuff. Send some of your stuff. Thank you very much. I'll see you another day.